I'm going to show you my everyday routine that I've been doing um, and we're just going to have some chit chat and I guess you guys can call it. Okay, so my best friends and I, we call it cheese, the cheese, and it basically stands for the cheese mitt. Okay, if you know, you know. Now let's get ready because um, I have like so much to say and I feel like I'm, I'm just going to say it because I feel comfortable. You guys, I've been using my new face and I'll link it down below, but if you have the new face and you don't want to buy the gel, the conductor gel, just use ultrasound gel. It works the same exact thing. I got the tip from a TikToker and I just put it in a bottle from Daiso and it's so much cheaper. And I've been using this on my cheeks and my jaw. I have been going to the gym much more like to help my mental health also. I think you can tell like I've been losing a little bit of weight and my clothes are feeling so much better. My back, I had, you know, like little rolls and now my back is smooth pretty much. So I just have my new face and I've just been going up on my jaw and then also my cheek. It's been helping so much. Um, and I just do like kind of like a quick routine. I don't do like the full shebang. Today I'm just going to show you my routine. I don't have my DSLR. I'm just using like my Sony. So hopefully it's okay. But I just wanted to have like chit chat time and all that. I'm also sitting in this chair that I got and it's like so nice because it's nice and wide. I got it from TikTok shop. I've been addicted. Um, but it's like the crisscross chair or whatever. But yeah, I've been using my new face and it's been helping a lot with my face and just lifting it. Now, I'm going to do a comparison so you can see one side compared to the other. Like, see how it's kind of droopy? You'll see. And now I'm just going to go up my cheek. Like I said, I do a very fast routine. I don't hold it like crazy. I kind of just stroke it through. So tomorrow's kind of a big deal. It was actually supposed to be today, but there's no time because I have like a lot of work I have to catch up with. And by the time I can meet up with this person, it was just too late because they have to pick up their wife. And who am I talking about? My birth father. Like who would have thought I would be meeting with my birth father? If you guys don't know my background, like, I mean, he was in jail most of my life. Um, so I don't really have a relationship with him at all. And when he came out, it was just like very awkward because it was like, I was already set in my life. I was an adult. I had my career, everything set, you know, and I didn't know this person. And there's just like so many other factors to it. Um, so many details, you know, that I personally don't want to go into because I also don't want to be like exposing everything of this person's life because I do want to have respect at the end of the day. But yeah, they were in jail most of my life. And that kind of says, you know, what I mean, the gist of it. But um, now it's come to a point where it's like, you know, so much time has like passed and now like things with say, for instance, my mom, which is his mom. Okay. Um, it's like, you kind of have to just like reach a medium, you know what I mean? Like a neutral ground, just so like everybody is aware of everything of her status of what's happening with her dementia, you know, just so everybody just gets along as it and is cordial and neutral. Like I don't have any animosity towards him. It's just that He's always been a person I just don't know, you know, and when you're already like grown and you have so much that has happened and so many life events and someone who has not been there for such a huge piece of your life, it's like they're a stranger and it is what it is. You know, you can't expect someone just to be like full open arms like, oh my gosh, dad, like, no, like my dad was my grandfather. He's the one who raised me and he passed away when I was a freshman in high school. So that's what I know. So now look at the sculpting of the cheek, of the jawline, I'll just hold it. And it has lifted my face and then here it's like more down, you see? And here it's like lifted, look at that. Look at this sculpt right here. Look at that. It really helps. I really love my new face. Um, I'm trying out a cheaper version, but yeah, that's all I'll do. I don't go into the full routine. Now let me just put some gel on here. I swear, this is such a good hack. So yeah, that's happening tomorrow. Like I said, I don't have any animosity. Like I'm not someone where I'm just like a bitch. I'm not. If you give me a reason to not like you, then yeah, I'm gonna not like you. And if you disrespect me, then yeah, I'm not gonna have respect for you. I'm someone where, you know, I'm very courteous. I'm very, I'm a nice person, you know, just don't give me a reason to um, not like you. <laughs> I guess you can say, just show the same respect, you know. I'm. Like, I'm very easy. I'm very easy. Show the respect, you'll get the respect. But as soon as you do something wrong to you, I'm, I'm good. You know what I mean? Um, but 
Yeah, I'm going to be meeting up with him tomorrow. He wants to, like, go eat. I honestly just wanted just to do something more casual like Starbucks because I personally know I'm going to be getting emotional because I've been going to therapy. And my therapist thinks that this will be a really good healing um, process for me because I do have abandonment issues and um, just certain things that have happened. Like, I'm going to be straight up, too. Like, one of the things that, like, happened actually on Father's Day is I had someone tell me I'm nothing but an abandoned baby and I'm just gonna say it because it is what it is abandoned baby that I changed everybody's lives um that I'm a B like the full word because I try not to curse on here you know what I mean um every now and then okay and they also said um F you two times and F you, you fat effing bitch. <laughs> That's what I was told. And this is after me not calling anybody out of their name, just standing there, just listening. And you get to this point where you just are just numb to stuff because it's like, I've gone through real life shit. You know what I mean? Where it's like, go ahead and say whatever you want to say, but I'm not going to be pulled out of my character. And I'm just so happy the way I reacted, you know, because... I don't want to be pulled out of my character. Um, I've I've already been there with people, you know, and even like a past relationship, like someone made me act like someone I don't even recognize and I don't want to be that person. And thank goodness for therapy too, because I swear it has helped me so much. I started probably right after all this big whole thing happened. But can you imagine like being told like, oh, you're um, not a blood sister and you wouldn't understand and like all these things like, going like the lowest of the low like you're nothing but abandoned baby like that was my decision to be an abandoned baby like heavens forbid yeah because I really was like hey I want to be the one where uh my you know father goes to jail all my life and I've never met my birth mother yes pick me I want to be an abandoned baby because this innocent baby you know and I'm okay to talk about it like I said now because it was said and it is what it is and now I know how to kind of navigate against those feelings and all that. So now I'm just taking my Glow Recipe toner and I just kind of take it off that way. And yeah, so now what I'm going to be doing is um, just going through all the emotions that I've had, you know, and just to like explain myself, like I want to let him know, like, I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I just don't know you, you know, and there's all these reasons of the way I felt so the way I did and why I didn't want to deal with him. And I do want to say up front though, I'm going to use my essence coconut. I did try to give a chance to him when he first came out. I really did, which is why I don't feel guilty of like not having a relationship because I did try. We had a full conversation, all this, and it was almost like he didn't act, which I, he didn't know how to act, which I get it because he's been in for so long. He doesn't know how I am or how things are and wanted to jump full force. And now I kind of process that, you know, and and I'm glad I still wouldn't change the way how I moved back then. You know, I really wouldn't. I'm just using my brow pencil from Benefit. But now I'm just like, OK, let's just have a conversation. Let's just talk about everything because we've never really like talk talked like we've tried before but it just it wasn't it wasn't happening i'm really happy because he's been super neutral with me like very pleasant i've seen him i finally saw him after not seeing him for like eight years which is so crazy to say right and that was actually on my mom's birthday just this last november and i think that's what kind of just started sparking everything um to kind of talk and not necessarily i mean honestly i don't know where this is gonna go um i'm not trying to like go full blown into something, you know, I just want to take baby steps and just be open and hear him out. But I really want him to hear me out because I feel like he has no idea where my mind is and things that have happened. So yeah, I just want to explain things, you know, but what's so wild about what happened before, I need this light on. What happened before is I actually met up with my first cousin on my Pacific Islander side. And I don't think I talked about this and she was really pleasant. When I met up with her in 2022 for the first time, and I will say like the first visit, I was so on edge because I don't know that side of the family at all. I don't know their intentions. 
you guys, I'm like so, I don't know. I'm so guarded, especially with so much that has happened in my life that you guys don't even know that I legit went there in gym clothes. Okay, you might think I'm crazy. And some of you might be able to relate and some of you might be like, whoa, I would have never thought that, you know, but yeah, I'm so guarded. I went there in straight gym clothes. Like if I had to defend myself, I was ready because I really don't know if people are mad at me for not meeting up before or keep, but again, I'm all, I was all in my mind I'm through this with my therapist, like talking about why I'm in such fight or flight. I don't, I don't know these people and I don't know what they want. Well, you just never know people's intentions because you think why now after so many freaking years, like just to give you insight, like, so I met up with her. She's very nice, very friendly, all that. Nothing's wrong with that, you know? But I still don't know these people. What's so wild is like for her to get in contact with me, um, she sent me a picture of me as a baby with her. And I was like, whoa, you know, like this is very strange. I'm just using concealer. I'm using the last of my Tarte Shape Tape. I have one coming in the mail, two shades, because it was on sale on TikTok. So I got two. Um, but... That's the only reason why I responded. I almost didn't respond because I was like, I don't have the mental capacity for this. This is like too much now because as you know, Glenn and I have already gone through so much and so much loss where I'm like, I don't need another can of worms basically opened up. Like I'm good. It's already been so much time. Like everybody leave me alone. <laughs> like can people just let me live and not enter my life basically. I met up with her. It was very awkward. Um... I just had my guard up. I asked questions because like Glenn had to ask, tell me what to ask because that's how much I didn't care. He's like, you just have to just, he's like, just get it over with. Like, just ask questions. You never know. You might be curious later on. And I was like, I'm not really curious about anything. He's like, it's because like where your mindset's at, like, and what you've been through. And I was like, no, I get it. You know what I mean? It's just like weird. He goes, trust me, like it is weird. Yeah, the first visit was just, it was not good. <laughs> I was very guarded, didn't say really anything about me, but I met up with her again because after speaking with her and all that and just kind of analyzing my actions, I'm like, well, that really wasn't me, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. I like erased my brow. Just talking and she was telling me about like my birth mother and stuff like that. Am I in focus? Um, but honestly, it's just so strange because like now I'm getting contacted, but What's so wild is, this is what people don't know. The reason why I'm so guarded is like, why now? Well, she actually left Guam and she's in another state now. She's been using this pure powder in Bisque. And I've been using this to set my eye, to prep it for shadow. So she was like telling me about her, but you guys, what is so wild is I like live in Orange County. And so she was telling me about like all these cousins and aunts. So my birth mother has 10 siblings and I'm just like, what? Like, so when she was talking to me, she's like, yeah, like you have, I think she said like eight aunts, two uncles or some crap like that. And to me, it's very like, like that doesn't really mean anything to me because I don't know these people. And when I, when she started telling me like where everybody's located, hold on, I need a shadow brush just been using my Patrick Ta Dimension 3 palette. I am obsessed with this. It is my everything right here. And I've been taking the last two shades, boom, boom, and mixing those two together and just swiping it across my lid like this or my crease and kind of what my lid right there. So again, boom, boom. No true, um, you know, like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, that's it and just putting it through. You guys, I have so many like family members and I say that because, you know, family, that's something that is a, a, an earned title living all around me, even in Orange County and even in places I go to all the time. And I'm just like, what? Like how, it is just so weird. But let me tell you this, this is why I'm so guarded because people used to like give me shit when I was like, yeah, like I've never met my birth mother. Like she tried to contact me like in my early twenties, but I didn't want to meet her. They're like, how dare you all this? It's like, you don't know the backstory of anything. Like, who are you, you know, to 
tell me how to respond when you don't know anything. And I'm pretty sure it was probably people who were guilty in some sense or also had experiences where maybe they were mothers and maybe they they abandoned their kids and their kids don't want, you know what I mean? Like they, it, it's something is hidden home with them. So that's why they got so triggered by me. But I'm not the only like abandoned baby, okay? I'm not the only one. I'm actually the third one. So that's why I'm very like, so I have like two half brothers, you know? Um, I don't know where they're at or whatever. His cousin doesn't even know where they're at, which I thought was also weird. It's like, I don't know, because the way she was talking about them was almost like she knew them. And then when I asked, I was like, when's the last time you saw them? And she's like, when I was eight. I'm like, what? So that's why I'm kind of like, I don't feel bad not meeting my birth mother, especially now, like in my early 20s. And even now, like, you know, I was kind of just like seeing where it was going um, and just like asking questions and getting to know her. But now it's like gotten to a point where I have to set my boundaries because I feel like, and like I said, this person, like, there's nothing wrong with it, but I feel like she got very excited to have someone that she feels like she can kind of relate to because she has like a similar backstory to like me as well. Um, she was raised by her grandparents and you know, her background with her father going to jail and all that, you know, and, and you know, I, I guess you just get this sort of sense of, oh, I can relate to you. I feel like I'm comfortable with you, but I don't know. It's just been so many years and I'm just thinking out of all these years and all these people and all these aunts and I'll, a lot of them are still in Guam, but it's like, why now, you know? So I guess my birth mother found my social media. She's probably watching this video, which I don't feel scared or nervous posting because this is my social media and it is what it is. She's seen my videos and contact content and all that, but like, I, I don't know. I'm just like, okay, for what? <laughs> for what? Um, I, I get it, but I don't get it at the same time. And like I said, it's just been so many years. So it's like, why now? Like, why now? Um, yeah. And then when in my twenties, you know what I mean? You have to understand like you're young, early twenties, you're like young, you're trying to figure yourself out. You're like truly becoming like, yeah, they say you're an adult at 18, but let's be for real. No one has their life together at 18, 19, 20, 21, you know, you're like in school, figuring out what you're going to do in the future, all of that. So of course I had no interest in meeting her. And then also at the same time, I still had my mom, you know, my real mom who raised me and she was so nervous because she's thinking love this forever and ever and ever forever and ever and ever spf in it great coverage and yeah sigma my favorite brush which is the angled foundation it is just so good because it just pushes product in so nicely um so yeah so she was so nervous because then at the time she was like wait like are you gonna leave me like i don't want you to leave me and that's all i knew and you know, and I, I would make like a joke, like, I don't care to meet her because I never knew her, you know? So it's like, unless like you have a check for me for child support <laughs> for, for all those years, like I'm down, you know, like I, I'm a jokester. But honestly, like, it's just so strange to me, you know, it's just so strange to me. Um, just things I've been told and found out. And I'm just like, I don't know. I'm kind of like, I, I know who my real mom is. I know who my real dad is. Um, and it is what it is. Like, I don't owe that side of the family anything because I didn't grow up with them. I don't know them. They've all been around. It's like, hello, like why now? And then you would also think, and then it was, this is what's so crazy too. Out of nowhere, I get a DM and such a casual DM too, by one of these aunts or whatever. And she says, Hey gorgeous, I'm your aunt. So-and-so it's like, who in their right mind just casually DMs? It looked like a DM from like a regular follower. You know what I mean? Like so casual, like no boundaries, no nothing. Just like, hey, gorgeous. Like who starts off with that? It just seems so, just so fake to me. Nothing genuine about it. And maybe, hey, maybe she is. Maybe she's just someone where she casually talks like that. But if you're um, grown at a grown age and you're just casually messaging someone like, oh, I'm your aunt. Like, oh my gosh, hi, let's hang out. Like, no. I'm using the rest of my rare beauty and then just said like, oh, I'm your aunt so-and-so. So I kind of just entertained it because I was kind of curious to see what she would say. I was like, oh, really? I didn't know that. I don't know anybody. That's what I responded with. 
And then she just put, oh, I would love to meet, hopefully I can meet you one day. And I was like, yeah, I guess that would be um, okay. I think I put something like, not, I wasn't excited. I wasn't rude. I was just like, okay, that might be nice one day or something. You know, this is when I was just casual. I, I'm not a rude ass person, you know what I mean? But at the same time, like after reading that, I'm just like so casual. Like, hey, I'm your aunt. Oh, really? So cool. Hi. I'm so glad you're a flight attendant at LAX, which I've flown out of like my whole life. <laughs> like so crazy, right? I don't know. What is your opinion? You know, what is your opinion? Because it's almost like when you're set in your life, you know who your family is and all of this. It's like, I don't know. And then it also doesn't help because then I have like this whole thing where like, um, you're nothing but abandoned baby, all these. It's like, I don't trust anybody now at this point. I really don't trust anybody at all. <laughs> So I've just been like going through all these emotions. Like, can you see like how it's like such a mind F, you know? Um, yeah, such a mind F. I'm using a uh, virtue from rare. I've just been doing boop, 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 boop right there. And my favorite brush from Sigma, of course. Um, this one is the contour blush. So good. I still love Sigma, ride or die, stand by them a million percent. I have a coupon code WHOOP. You can use that as affiliate. So thank you if you use it. I get a small commission and everything helps. Um, so yeah, that's what my life has been like <laughs> on the sidelines, along with, you know, unfortunately dealing with my mom's dementia and all that. And I really appreciate you guys like not hounding me or asking me too many questions and like just wishing the best. I'm using like medium honey. I want to brighten my under eye a little bit more. Um, but yeah, mentally I'm doing so much better. You have no idea. Like I'm more focused. Like I can basically function normal. Thank goodness. You know, cause when you're in a deep depression, it is not good. And you know, I still have my days. Every, everybody's going to have their days where it's a good day, a bad day, all of that. Right. But I'm having much more good days. And when things pop up or something happens, like I know how to handle it and navigate it more as opposed to just crumbling and just freaking out and just saying, I just can't handle this, you know, like this is just too much, but I always get, do what I have to do. I always get everything done what I need to get done. I'm meeting with my birth father tomorrow and, and, um, I, I'm really relieved because it seems like he's probably the one that I can really just kind of talk to neutrally, you know, about everything happening and all that. Like, I feel like, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Life is crazy, you know? I'm kind of just doing my own thing with Glenn. Like, we just need our time together as us two because we're still our own family, you know? Even though we don't have children, like, when you have a union with someone, that's, like, your own family now. And I'm just doing my thing with Glenn, honestly, and doing what I have to do for my mom and all that. Um, and that is it. Uh, I really like like the way that we're living right now. I really like not having any pressure or having to deal with anybody straight up. I just am not ready just to deal with anybody or I don't know, you know, it's just, um, oh damn, what the heck? There was like a lot on there. You guys, I'm still using, oh my gosh, what the heck? That's never happened. Let me brush this through. Um, I'm still using these Maybelline fiber things that I bought like 15 of because they discontinued it. And so far, my I still have brows. But for some reason, there was some gunk. That never happens. Of course, when I'm filming, it happens, right? Um, but yeah, overall, we'll see how it goes. Like I'm very open, you know, like I said, I'm not a B. I'm not a B. But at the same time, like I just want respect. But in the meantime, like I have no interest in meeting my birth mother at all or like her coming down to like see me like no none of that like I just have other stuff you know what I mean like the family that I was raised with I have to deal with this for right now well not even that much just like really my mom you know and then that's it and just staying in my own lane like I'm very peaceful right now I love doing my own thing and also with Glenn we're just we're doing really good right now. And then also Glenn, like he's healing too. Like my mother-in-law's heavenly anniversary is February 13th and then her birthday is February 14th, which is so crazy, you know? So I'm so happy because he has a 13 off, 13th off and it's like such like a sign. It was meant to be 
for him to get that day off because he's on a crazy project right now where he's working crazy hours. A blessing that he was able to get that day off. I was like, man, it was like meant to be. So now we can go and visit her and decorate and all of that. And, you know, just spend a day of thinking about her. And then later on, that's kind of like when we'll go out to dinner. We got a gift card from like Ruth Chris from his cousin, which is really cool. So we're going to do that for like an early Valentine dinner since I won't be with him on Valentine's Day. Life is crazy, you know, but what I really like is that I've been kind of just setting boundaries, just doing what I need to do. And I think it's so important. Like if you're in this space where you feel like so much pressure from everyone around you, never ever hesit hesitate, <laughs> never hesitate, never hesitate to do what's best for you. At the end of the day, like everybody's out for their own, you know, they're going to do what's in convenience to them, what benefits them. And they're not, and it sucks to say, you know, a lot of people, they're just thinking about themselves and their own family, which I totally get. It's hard for, it was kind of hard for me to kind of grasp that at the same time, but you know what now? Oh, shoot. Um, now I'm setting the boundaries and I'm doing what I want to do. And if I don't want to do something, I'm not going to do it. Like, I'm not going to do it. Um, it is what it is. I'm going to put a little bit of eyeliner. I've been using it cosmetics or I'll just go like this. Um, most of the days and then I'll use my oh, I see that beauty over there one second Maybelline Elifter gloss in reef but yeah I haven't really been setting my face and it's been looking so good I'm like look at that color come on that was my stomach it's grumbling we're gonna get in and out but yeah I like these kind of get ready with me and like just telling you because I feel like it feels good when you can relate to someone and if you can't relate and you just want to hear the cheese, then there you go. <laughs> I'm satisfying two audiences, I guess. But yeah, at the end of it all, like I said, it's all about like setting, setting boundaries. Like I feel like mentally I'm just so much healthier. And like I said, I've been going to the gym, which has helped me so much. Like just getting my mind right and just like releasing negative energies, thoughts, like reliving moments and all of that. And I'm good. I am so good with just my husband and my mom, you know, just a hundred percent. I'm okay with it. You know, I'm very happy with my little circle. Um, but I don't know when you just go through so much stuff, you're kind of like at the end of the day, like what's really worth it. And time is something you can't take back. And why, why live a life that you're miserable with or why do things that you don't want to do? It's not worth it. And if people take it personal, then I'm sorry. They shouldn't take it personal. They should realize like, hey, Glenn and, I, Glenn and I have gone through so much shit and so much loss. Like, we're going to live our lives for us. Like, I'm just, yeah, that's basically it. Um, So I'm really happy right now. Like, super, super happy. I have like a more balanced mindset. I'm not freaking out all the time. Because if you guys would see me, I was like a wreck. Like a wreck daily, crying, freaking out, ready for the worst case scenario, you know, like just bring it. But now like that we've gone through everything and, you know, when you go through these life experiences, you honestly think like, why me? But at the same time, honestly, it builds your character so much. So now when things happen, I'm just like, <laughs> nothing phases me at this point. Like nothing phases me. Um... Yeah, so it sucks when you go through hardship and when you go through hard times, but like I said, it, it builds you for life and, and life is full of full of stuff, you know? No life is perfect. Everybody has their own personal problems or things that have happened and it, that's what builds you. So much else I could say, but I just don't want to. But yeah, and like I said, you just have to just keep it moving and I don't know what sponge this is. Does anybody know? I feel like it's from a Wet n Wild collection or something. That looks like ink from a receipt. <laughs> also, I did Gel X Red Nails. Oh my gosh. Never wore red. Someone said do red nails. I was like, okay, I'm going to do them just for you. And I did it. So I did it if you're watching this video. It's so crazy that I haven't been setting my face, but it just looks so glowy and I love it. Um, but yeah. Um, other than that. That's what's been happening. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. 
Um, but I just felt like just telling you a little bit of cheese. I also want to um, start some sort of um, sister kind of series because what happened to me hearing like you're not a blood sister, like you're nothing but a bad baby, all these things kind of like sparked, um, I guess you can say an idea or a theme and it inspired me because I, I was thinking, you know, there's other people that wish they had a sister and just having a sister, you do not have to be blood. Like my current friends right now, like I literally look at them and I'm like, they're my family right now. Like they're my sisters. Like I can count on them. Like I know I can call them. They will be there with no hesitation. I feel good confiding in them. They don't make me feel like, oh, like I don't want to hear her shit. You know what I mean? Like we're all very close and comfortable with our stuff. So I want to do something where it's like a series of like sister advice or um, sister. I don't know what to call it if you guys have an, um, an idea, but I want it around sister because I want to be that sister you never had. I want to be that sister for you that you always wish you wanted because, hey, you may have a sister or a sister or whatever. And you're just like, damn, like, I really wish I had that true sisterhood. You know, someone who has inspired you, has taught you things, have you have gone through things with and um, all of that. You know what a real sister does for you. Um, someone that you look up to. And that's what I want to be for you. Someone where you're just like, damn, I feel like this is my comfort zone. This is my comfort channel. And that's what I want you to feel. Um, because we all we all yearn for that. You know, and I always told Glenn and I always joked about it. But it's honestly true. I said, damn, I always wish I had like a twin or like a sister. You know what I mean? Or even like at least someone close to my age or something like that. Um, so that I can relate to them. Growing up, I didn't have anybody where I was like, oh, I look up to them. They inspire me. They're teaching me things. I didn't have that. I had a lot of dance friends that I looked up to or helped me. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I had like a dance friend who helped me like enroll into um, college and how you do your registration and how I had to go there for like um, freshman welcome week. And all. I had no idea about any of these things, you know, so I had a lot of other people, outside people help me. Um, so I want to be able to be that person for you, you know, whether that be like advice or just talking and comfort channel, or we just like, you know, cheese it up, like cheese it up, you know? Um, so if you guys can think of like a title, like I want it to be where I have a separate email and you can kind of send your questions or say just kind of like scenarios that maybe just want to get off your chest, like a confession or whatever, good time. You know what I mean? Even if it's just like, kind of like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe that happened or whatever, you know, or you have like a really serious like question, like, hey, I need advice, you know, and then other people can chime in and all that because sometimes we don't have that person that we can go to or we feel embarrassed to ask someone something and sometimes you just need that comfort person and I want to be that. I want you to feel like you can ask questions, you know, um, yeah, because sometimes you just don't know who to ask or who you can trust or feel comfortable because you may, like I said, you may have that sister or maybe you don't, but they're like a sister, but you just, you just don't feel that connection. You know what I mean? You can't relate. You're just not on the same path. So yeah. All right. Let me know if you have any suggestions down below, but yeah, wish me luck tomorrow. I'm sure it's going to go fine. Like I'm very open and everything. I know I'm going to get very emotional, honestly. Um, but tears are not a bad thing. When you show emotion, it's not a bad thing and it's not good to hold things in. And it shows that you have a heart, like you have feelings. Wish me luck. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this has been my everyday makeup. Like I do not set my makeup. Sometimes I'll set like my face a little so it doesn't like get on my clothes. But so lightly. Like I'm talking about whatever powder I put on the pure. I'm just like, okay. I just go like this. Like on my T-zone. And I keep the rest like super glowy. Ooh, my stomach is grumbling. I cannot wait to eat my in and out Woo! Thank you for listening. Don't forget, I am the sister that you always wanted. Ding! <laughs> All right, love you. Bye! Woo!